Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is another tutorial following on from the most recent tutorial on how to create a planet and a simple star field. Um, I have done a very quick mock-up of what we'll be creating today, and yes, we will create it to a better quality, but I just wanted to give you, you know, a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be doing today. I'm sorry if my voice isn't as clear as it normally is, I have a bit of a cold, so I don't feel my best. Let's get started. So I'll just close that now. Um, if you want to learn how to create a planet, I will provide a link in the description, and then if you want to create a planet, and then we can stick a ring around it, you're just following this tutorial. So we're going to start by going to File, New, and I'm going to go something nice and large. Uh, sure, why not? 2000 by 2000 pixels. And let's go for a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. It doesn't really matter what you set it to because we don't actually have any text. And then I want you to hit OK. Um, let's begin by clicking the Fill tool. And then we will change the color to black, the primary color, foreground color. And then just click it anywhere in the white space. And now I want you to go down and click Create New Layer. Alternatively, you can go Layer, New, Layer. And we will name this, uh, let's just call it Ring, because we're going to be creating our planetary ring. And then I want you to go to File, Render, Clouds. This will form the basis for our ring. And now we need to go to Filter, Distort, Twirl, and um, yeah, let's go up 999. Um, and then go Filter, click Twirl again. Mm, okay, undo that, Control Z. I'm going to go Filter, Distort, 12, change that value. Uh, what's it like at the moment? Probably about something, let's go 550. 550 looks good, okay? Right now, grab the eraser tool or rubber tool, depending if you're American or English, and make sure the hardness is set to zero, and we'll go something nice and large, maybe, uh, try and get it at 700, 700 pixels. Yep, that's good. Um, I'll just check to make sure. Yep, make sure you have none of, none of these boxes ticked as you may end up getting weird results like that. Okay, now I just want you to begin erasing, rubbing out, oh sorry, make sure your opacity is set to 100% and flow set to 100%. And then just begin rubbing out the bits of the ring we don't want. So I'm just make it as circular as possible because this will give the best results later on. And then you can begin rubbing out the outside. I'm using my mouse, by the way, so if this goes horribly wrong, please excuse me. Uh, yep, yeah, it's good. If you guys want to take this slower, that's perfectly fine. I understand how difficult this is with a mouse. Okay, keep going around. Bring that around. It's good. Looking okay. Like I said, try and make it as circular as possible, as even as possible. Go around, grabbing those bits in the end. All right, you see the side is a bit thicker, so I'm just gonna bring that in a bit. Okay, uh, let's bring that in. Bring these in a bit. Maybe I have to hear my furious mouse clicking. Okay, that's looking reasonably equal. Right now, I want you to go to um, actually. Press Control T. Alternatively, you can go to Edit, Free Transform, and just bring that down to a nice height. I'm just going to move it up a bit, just by dragging it up and holding Shift, and then just bring it to like the kind of angle you plan to have your planetary ring. So mine's going to be about here. So when I bring it over to the um, image with my planet in, it will like kind of fit in with the image. I'll show you later. Right now you got that sorted, you see how it's all smooth. We want to break that up a bit with some noise. So what we're going to do is go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Okay. Um, okay, 15% looks good at the moment. And make sure it's set to Gaussian, and don't bother with monochromatic. And don't worry about these colored dots, we'll get rid of them in a minute. Um, Okay, let's go 15. 
Now I want you to go to Image, Adjustments, or is it Desaturate? This takes out all the color, as you can see before, after. Now I want you to press Control L, or you can go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Uh, Control L is just the keyboard shortcut for that, and we're just going to bring this gray slider in to something like maybe 0.52 looks good. I'm just going to bring the blacks down a bit and then the whites up a bit. Yeah, we can change this later if need be. Now you've got your basic planetary ring. This is a quick tutorial mind. Go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. Uh, make sure you tick the box colorize. And now I'm going to select brownie color 25, hue of 25, and just bring up the saturation a bit, not too much. About 30 will do. Oh, we've got a bit of grey here, don't worry about that. Um, 25, that will do for now. So now we have our basic planetary ring. Because of the way we've done this, um, we have none of this black space with it. The planetary ring is its own layer. So if we change the colour of the background, you can see how it's its own layer. Okay. So, just zoom out. And then what I'm going to do, click the move tool, I'm just going to drag that over, over here, and into this. So yeah, that's looking a nice color actually for this, I'm surprised how well it's come out. I'm going to go to edit, free transform, I'm just going to rotate it up a bit. Um, I want a bit of an angle on it, so about there will do. Okay, if you need to scale this up a bit, just make sure you click the lock tool, and then just drag this. H slider alternatively you can just drag the corners okay but mine seems to be a good size so I'm just going to click the tick now um, in that first preview I showed you I had a bit of a shadow on the planetary ring so to do that well first we need to get rid of all this bit here but the, st the bit of the ring behind the planet so we're going to go to layer mask add a layer mask to this layer we're going to go to the paintbrush tool and I'm going to set the opacity to 100%. Bring, turn the hardness up. Bring this to hardness up to 100%. Bring the size down to 145 is good for me. And make sure your color is set to black, your foreground color. And I'm just going to rub. Oh, sorry. And then Control click your planet layer. Actually, this is not going to work for me. Ignore me. Um, just rub out the bit on the planet. I uh, may want to zoom in there. I'm going to add a bit of softness. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to turn the hardness down to 0%. Just get, give it a nice soft edge. There you go, it's looking good. And then let's move to the other side. Um, just get rid of all that. Let's give it a nice soft edge. There you go. Zoom it back out. And I'll just make my brush a bit bigger and rub all that out. Okay. This is a non destructive technique as it's a layer mask. So if we disable the layer mask, we haven't actually lost any of the planetary ring. So if you have made a mistake, simply switch your color to white. And then anything you paint over will come back. It's like I'm going to go over some of that there. Right now. We want to apply a bit of a shadow to it, as the planet has a shadow on it. So we're going to go to New Layer. Um, control click the thumbnail of the ring layer, and that should select the majority of your ring. And then select the paintbrush tool, bring it up to a bigger size, something 215 will do me. Make sure the hardness is set to 0%. And then change the layer blending mode to, actually I'll leave it as normal, change the opacity of the brush to something like 20%. Okay, 19 will do. And then just begin clicking, I'm going to set my cutoff point about there. Just begin clicking, making sure this bit is darker. Control D to get rid of the selection. That's looking nice actually. It's looking really good. Right now, if we zoom out, I'm personally going to adjust the color maybe 
just see what it looks like in another color um, the planetary ring so if we click the ring layer go to image adjustments hue saturation and then you can adjust this slider, uh, this slider as you see fit so uh, minus 8 looks good you can turn the preview on and off to see what it was like before yeah that's looking nice and I may just give it tiniest bit more like a bit more of the highlights up this end so go to new layer select the paintbrush tool and I'm going to switch to oh let's let's go white for the moment and then change the blending mode of the layer to soft light <clears throat> and then just begin turn the opacity down I'm going to go to 10 10% uh, will do and I'm just going to bring that up a bit Okay, and that's basically it. There really is not much to making a planetary ring. I say that now, and there are probably some of you struggling out there, which is perfectly fine because you might be new to Photoshop. But that's all I want to show you today, guys.